Greetings everyone, what is up with me again, Tim Prime 1 with another video review. If you're on this video, video review, we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Legacy Armada Universe Deluxe Class Starscream. Now, I want to say this, um, so far with the Legacy line and how they've been releasing things, I will say I am excited that they are releasing the Armada figures. They are redoing each Armada figure like Hotshot, Optimus Prime, Megatron, and hopefully, hopefully some others. I'm hoping that we're going to also get Jetfire and Overload real soon along with many others. But right now, let's go take a quick look at Armada Universe Starscream. A really great rebuild. They definitely sized him down a great deal. They definitely did a really great job of him. I'm loving this version of Starscream right here. They definitely did a really fantastic job. I want to go ahead and turn on my light real fast so we can get a good Oh man, I I need to get like a completely different light. This oh man, I do not like the brightness of this light all that much. It, it I feel like it's making my video look videos will look darker in a, in contrast or something like that. But yeah, but this is the best I can do right now. So try and bear with me real fast. I do love what all has was done, especially with this piece right here. With with, the, with this little gap filler in the back right here, they definitely did a good job with that piece right there. Although I will say I'm a bit disappointed they did not include any kind of blast effects for this guy right here, like like with with, with what they did with the original Star Screen with his missiles and whatnot. They definitely did a really good job with this one, though. Far far better, than, far far better than the Thrilling Thirty. Sorry, my mouth is not wanting to work with me today right now. I'm ready, I'm ready to just, I'm, I'm ready to just punch my mouth just to make it go back into alignment somehow. But yeah, they definitely did a fantastic job. Loving the new molded detailing on this guy right here, especially with how similar his transformation is to the original Armada Starscream. Really great looking figure overall. And also, you can see his head is right in the original spot. And you can also tell this is a redecoed version of the Thrilling 30 Starscream. I never had that version, but I can tell this is what the Thrilling 30 Starscream kind of used to look like-ish. All they did was just redeco him into the Armada Starscream. And this, if you ask me, is an overall vast improvement compared to that one right there. Because that one came with two orange swords compared to him. He comes with, I'm going to go ahead and pull him on out real fast. And I'm also going to lower my camera a bit more. There's a bit more. There we go. There we are. I do need to get a new Gorilla Pod. This one's a bit loose on me. And here's what he comes with if I don't hit the tripod. Here he comes, here's all well. He, here's what all he comes with. A modded version of the Star Saber. Modded version. Very nice. I must say it's very, very nice. You get to see Sonar Runway and Jetstorm. Although Sonar down here, he is not painted. I wish I would have painted him and like placed on a bit more. And I place it on like maybe a bit more detailing onto him right under onto, onto the sword piece right here. But I will say this: I do know that the sword does like get like a blue laser around it, like in Star Wars. Like it gets a well, not like in Star Wars, but like it gets a blue laser around it to where you can use him for combat. And also, St Star Scream's old sword that he used to use back in the Armada. I'm surprised they didn't um, redeco the old sword to do the same thing that that. Well, I'm surprised they didn't redeco the wing to where it forms into a sword like from last time. But yeah, really nicely done. Really nicely done right there. And also, if you want to, you can just tab these things onto the bottom right here. There we go. You can tab them onto either side. There we go. There we are. I'm not for sure which side goes on to where. I'm not for sure which side goes on to where, but I'm not worried too much about it. There we go. And there we are. There's Armada Starscream with both his weapons in his vehicle mode right there. And also, I want to show you, um, I know I haven't done the Star Saber yet, but it's only because he is missing his leg. He's missing, I was going to do his, I was going to do the Star Saber real soon, but he's missing his leg. So I had to order a new one off of eBay. Found one for a, for a fairly decent price. So I, so I placed out an order for it, and it should be here within a matter of days, or yeah, hopefully a matter of days. But yeah. Really nice. I do love what they did with Starscream right here with the Star Saber and with the little wing right here. Very nicely done. So I love this part right here. You can just take his little uh, null cannon, his null cannons, and just flip them over. There we go. There we are. And you can just fire. I do not have any kind of the. I do not. All my blue stuff. I, 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 all my. All, well, not blue stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm copying MGO. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please, I do not want to copy him right now. I want to do my own thing. 
but yeah, th but yeah, this is like special effects compatible. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. Special effects compatible right here. These are special effects compatible for the most part, but <laughs> a lot of mine have vanished somehow. They have vanished unless. Hang on for a second. Maybe I hear some downstairs. Okay, so that's gonna take me some time to, to really look through my collection downstairs. It's a mess down there. I have to um, sort through a lot of stuff in order for me to make sure that I do find all these special effects, like 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 all the all the effects they include with these guys right here. So yeah, that's gonna take me quite some time. But yeah, you can you can definitely include like special like like the effects blasts in the star screen right here. You can definitely do that. Not only that, but also I am disappointed that Hasbro is skipping out on the mini cons. Like I wish I would have included the mini cons so that way you could like power link um a mini con right back here or at least have included the uh, mini con power link port for um for the Armada for Armada swindle. And that way like you can just take the original swindle and just power link him right here or just put him right down here like like of how that used to go. And I just noticed a, like a little bit of a molded detailing right there. Very nice. Very nicely done. But yeah they definitely did a really good job of Star Scream. Definitely did a good job. I want to go ahead and unpack, untab these things down here. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, yeah, we. Yeah, please stay, stay, stay. There we go. Oh boy, I'm going to turn off the light real fast. There we go. There we are. Also, if you all want to, just tell me if that light is annoying, and I'll get myself a, and I'll get myself a more proper lamp that can give some better lighting for my for in this one here so now let's go ahead and do some comparisons first up we're going to go ahead and do the armada figures there's megatron along with the abolisher so i had to had to look around for him a little bit and here is cyclonus yes cyclonus i'm just going to put him behind here Alongside Megatron. There we go. There we are. Also, here he is with some of the Armada team. Some of them. One of the first two originals to arrive on Earth. Optimus Prime. And Hot Shot. There we go so far. Here is Armada Jetfire. There you go. Now I'm going to also go ahead and put in. Wait, where'd I put them? Where'd I put them? Right behind me. They're both right behind me. Hang on for a second. Let me go ahead and grab them up real fast. There we go. And here he is with Earthwise slash Kingdom Star Scream. There we go. And now for the piece of the resistance, the original Armada Starscream. <laughs> you guys can definitely see how much bigger he is compared to him. They definitely downscaled their figures over the years. And also here is Swindle. Here's Swindle. So yeah, there we go. There we are right there. There we go. I'll just leave Swindle on the table. So now that we have done all that, let's go ahead and get down to the transformation process for Starscream. The transformation process is very simplistic. I am I am very curious if DNA Design is going to be making making their own versions of um of the mini cons because I do know that they have not released any mini cons for Megatron, Optimus Prime, Metroplex, and the others. Let's see. Go ahead and just you want to go ahead and split this in two right here and just untap this right there. Rotate his leg around. Push this into the gap area, swing that around, and bring this on out right there. Now these feet have to go in there for the transformation process for vehicle mode, or otherwise nothing will fit into place properly. Not even these will fit into place properly. But yeah, these have to go into there. Just take this right here and swing it down, and it'll fill in that gap right there. Swing down the foot, and swing down the foot, and go ahead and just try to open the heel spur right there open the heel spur and same thing with this one come on come on there we go there we go now for this part right here 
you can see this pushes up the head from my yeah, I'm gonna do it again. We all can see right here, it pushes up the head right there. There we go. And take this nose cone right here. Now I think these can fold on in to go into these little groove sections right there. I'm not 100% for certain, but I go ahead and do that right there. Cause like it does fit in there. Or if you want to, you can just leave the wings, oh, these little wings on out right there to make it show more show accurate. Go ahead, bring out the arms. We got the arms. The arms are on these little sliders right in here. Because like the outside is for the yeah, the outside is for the jet mode, the inside is for the robot mode. So yeah. Go ahead and swing this arm go ahead and slide this arm on in. If it will sl there we go. There we go. Take the wings, rotate them on up. There we, there we go. And go ahead and take the take his arms right here, open up the panels, and swing this on out right there. There we go. Then on this side, open up, swing on out. Okay, not focus on my hand, focus on the figure. There we go. There you are. And there you have him, Armada Starscream in his robot mode. Let me get him centered and... Or is my, or is my camera going to be, be, more, be more centered? There we go, there we are. And there you have Armada Starscream in his robot mode. And I'll say this, I'm going to adjust the camera a bit so that we can get a bit of a better shot of him. They definitely did a fantastic job with Armada Star, with the Armada Universe Star Screen from, from the Legacy line. I really do love all they've done with him so far. Let me shine a little bit of light on him. There we go. Really, really good looking figure. I really do like this right here. Every modern detail they did, it, it's like... It's, it's like they definitely took the original Armada Starscream and just and, and just like slapped everything on here on the Thrilling 30 Starscream. That's how I feel like about this. Speaking of thrilling, thrilling, 30, thrilling 30 Starscream, to make him <laughs> resemble that, I really do not like doing this. I strongly do not like doing this, but they've only made it to where you can, I think they only made it to where you can just fold this on down. There's a little tab in the back right there. Cause like these, I think these do the same. Th oh yeah, yeah, yeah. These things do the same thing. So yeah, this thing can come on down, tab into the back if you want it to do that, like that right there. And they also made it to where you can just do the whole thing right here. And yeah, that does, I'll admit that does not look right to me. So I like to keep it up right here because that's how I'm used to Starscream from back in the Armada series. Because like, I don't mind they did this right here. It just does not look right to me. It looks really weird. So I like to keep it up like this right here. But I but I do like the option of... This is a much better option for me right here. Because in my opinion, like, what they did with, with Starscream is... With this piece right here is, is a lot better than this right here. So I like this better than pulling the whole thing on down. So yeah, in my opinion, this definitely is better than the... Thrilling 30 star screen. Sorry that I didn't say that earlier, but yeah, yeah, in my opinion, he's definitely better than the Thrilling 30 star screen. So yeah, love the work on him. Love the work on him. You can, I'm surprised they didn't. I'm surprised it has. We don't put in any kind of gap for this right here. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm looking at this right here, and sometimes it feels like these things are about ready to come on out. But I think they have it to where they're nice and snug in there to where they won't come on out. But yeah, for articulation wise, for Legacy Star Scream right here, Legacy like Armada Universe Star Scream, just go ahead and you can just like move the shoulder back and forth like this. He has no other articulation in the shoulder region except for you can do that right there with the shoulder as well, along with swivel him at the bicep, and also he is double jointed like the original Armada Star Scream. So you can just bring up this right here, kind of ish, kind of ish. There we go. He kind of does move a bit. Same thing right here on the shoulder area. Well, shoulder bicep area, whatever you want to call it. Also right here, you can have him do the splits. You can have him do the splits. I know you can't see it, but you can do the splits. Not only that, but also he can, you can move his leg back this way and forward this way and bend, and bend at about a little past 9 degrees. Oh, just a little past 9 degrees. But yeah. Really nice. Love how they made Starscream. And also, very, very show accurate head. Love how show accurate this head is. Really nice head sculpt right there. And also for his weapons. For his weapons. I'm going to try to stand him up real fast. And I'm going to turn off the blast of light. I do not, I will still admit I do not like having that light on. As soon as I can, I'm going to get a couple of lamps. 
that I can shine the light on him a lot better. There you go. There you are. Now, for his two weapons, his sword. I'm going to put his sword into here since that's where his sword normally goes to. Along with the Star Saber. The Star Saber will go into this fist right here. And he's like a he's like a master swordsman now. He's like a master swordsman. Megatron, I challenge you to battle. And if I win, I become the next Decepticon leader. My invitation to Starscream has faltered a good bit so far. I haven't really practiced his voice all that much. I've only voiced his movie version a lot more. So yeah, very nicely done. Very nicely done. Now before I do anything else, I want to go ahead and do up Cyclonus along with Megatron. Megatron's pretty tall. He's pretty tall in this shot right here, so I want to increase the height a bit. Hopefully that'll do it. And also, when I put Demolisher, there he is. Here's Demolisher. Here's Demolisher. There's Demolisher right there. So, yeah. There you go. Also, Optimus Prime. Jetfire. And I'll do a group shot of Hotshot, because he does go into the Autobot team. So, yeah. There we go. There you have him. And let's see, can we take him off right there? Also, here's Armada Optimus Prime in his super mode. <laughs> Next to Starscream, you can definitely tell how much bigger he is than Starscream in his super mode. So, yeah. Also, he is right next to Powerlink Jet Convoy. There we go. And also here he is right next to... And let me get his null cannons can there. Right there we go. And there we are. Right next to Earthrise slash Kingdom Starscream. There we go. I definitely need a whole lot more room <laughs> somehow. That or, my, that or I just need a brand new camera. I'm gonna adjust this one a bit, so. I think I'm more need a new camera and and just the and just some video editing software. I've been needing that for quite a while though. Let's see here, where is the aha uh -huh, there he is. Here he is, here is the original Armada Star Scream. Now I'm not gonna take him out now because I'm also gonna bring in Armada Hotshot. For as soon as I get down to the video review on the Star Saber. Voila. Now, first things first, let's go ahead and put this Star Saber into Hotshot's grip. And, oh my gosh, it, ac it actually fits into his fist. They actually made it to where it's compatible with the Armada figures. That or it's just a coincidence. I don't care what. I love this. You can definitely put it into Hotshot's fist. Oh, for Starscreen's fist. Let's go ahead and put it into Starscreen's fist right here. It can kind of, yep, it definitely does. It fits in there too. It fits in there too. Very nice. I love that. I love that gimmick right there. Also, I believe, let's see, I think Megatron. Yep, Megatron. Let's go ahead and try his fist real fast. Let's try his fist for the Star Saber. Hopefully, he is the one as well. Yes, he can hold the Star Saber. He can hold the Star Saber. Very nice. I love that right there. They made it compatible with the Armada figures as well. Which holds up another question of mine. Here we go. Sorry about that. We'll try doing one more figure for comparison. Jack Convoy, I think. Yep, yeah, he can also hold it. He can also hold it in that big hand of his. I'm beginning to wonder though. I'm beginning to wonder. 
I know I don't think Armada Optimus Prime held it in his fist before, but I'm going to try this real fast. This will only be a simple transformation process. Just give me one quick second if his head decides to stay down. There you go. There you are. Now for now for this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and try to pick this into his fist. Oh my gosh, it fits. I think it's compatible with all the Armada figures. I think I'm not 100 percent for certain, but yeah, it definitely does fit into his fist right there. So yeah, there you go. Excuse me. And now for the comparison of the two swords. Or the or the two wing swords. I'm gonna try that. There we go, so did, did not want to get on out of there. Here we go, here we are. Next in on out right there, and yeah, you guys can definitely tell this one is superior compared to this one. Yeah, this one's much longer like the like it was in the TV series, but this one's much shorter and plus yeah, they should have they should have painted it a bit like red on both sides up to maybe this notch right here, and up to this notch right here, it would have been just the gray, and then from here up, it would have been black to rep more resemble this with a Decepticon symbol on both sides of the gray piece. So yeah, you can definitely tell that they definitely <laughs> downscaled these guys. And also, I want to go ahead and configure Swindle into his little robot mode. His little robot mode for a size com for a bit quick comparison. Here he is, right next to Starscream. Oh my gosh, it looks he 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 kind of does look almost show accurate. If he was much smaller, then yeah, he would he would have been more show accurate. But yeah, they definitely did a really great job with him, right there. Also for Minicon Power Links, I'm gonna go ahead and configure Swindle back. Very easy transformation. I'm gonna power link him. I know I always swung this stuff around, but let's see how Oscar looks right here, right next to this guy, with his things for this things on out. Right there, along with his sword, right here. And his sword as well. There we go so far. And here is Armada Stars. We have both Armada Star Screams. This one I'll say is much better, but I do love that the way the way they redecked this one. So yeah, they both are really good, but this one I'd say is a bit better than this one is. Sean because like he has the electronic gimmicks. He, he may not have the electronic gimmicks in him, but at least he has a new redecked look. So I do I will say that I like them both equally, but for but this one's just a little bit better, just a little bit better because he's much bigger in scale, and not only that, but also he has his little mini con and everything else on him. So yeah. Really great work, Hasbro. I must say, I'm very much pleased. And I cannot wait to grab up Hotshot, Megatron, and Optimus Prime. And if you guys want to try and grab up this guy right here, he is probably still available on HasbroPulse.com, also on top of TF Source, as well as Big Bad Toy Store. Try not to go on eBay because you may find some scalpers on there. You may you may end up finding some scalpers. I need to adjust his wings back a little bit, make him look more menacing. <laughs> If, if possible. Oh, I almost forgot to do this. Head sculpt. Head sculpt. One thing I noticed, like, he has red eyes and a red crest right there. And his facial features, they definitely did a good job. But with him, you can definitely tell that he only has, like, a silver crest and yellow eyes. You guys can see the yellow eyes right there, just a tad bit. So yeah, you can definitely tell the differences that they did between I mean, for these two star screens right here. So yeah, and as, I, as I said before, Big Bad Toy Store, tfsource.com, maybe um, eBay if you possibly can get them for a reasonable price, Hasbro, HasboPulse.com, or any other websites that you can grab them that you know of. And also, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to both, subscribe to both me and Wishmaker, and also check out my Tim Mind Gaming channel. Also, look for me on social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and so on. Until next time, I'm Tim Mind, and I'll be signing off right now. So, peace out!